Rev up your engines! It's time for Scotty Kilmer Duncan. If you need to change the engine in your car, then today's your lucky day. Because today I'm going to show you how to change an engine in your car. Now you have to take everything off the old engine, including the exhaust manifold and the intake manifold assembly and the fuel injectors have to be taken off. Then you hook the engine puller chains to the holders. There's one here in the back and one on the front to pull it up. Then pump it up to clear the engine bay. And out it comes. Then you slide the new engine in. Make sure you have the hoist on nice and tight. The hardest part is sliding the engine into the transmission. And that's why I have this engine leveler here. I can crank it to tilt the engine to get it in. Now you might think this engine hoist and the stabilizer cost a whole bunch of money, but I bought it on sale at Harbor Freight Tools. The engine hoist was only 110 bucks on sale, and the leveler for it was only $45. So when you consider the thousand bucks or more a mechanical charge to put an engine in, hey, it's worth it. Then once you wiggle and shake and bolt the transmission on, put the exhaust manifold back on and bolt it up, and then bolt the intake manifold on too. And before you hook everything else up, it's a good idea to start it up to make sure the engine works. Well, here goes nothing. The test starts right up. And now we can hook up the alternator and everything else and get back on the road. It was a big job, but hey, it's worth it. Knowing that you did it yourself and you did it right. And remember, if you've got any car questions, just visit scottykilmer.com.